Welcome back to CBS This Morning. I'm Jackson Kurtz, in for Charlie Rose. It's a food trend that has taken over Chinatown here in New York City. Instagram infatuations with culturally inspired desserts. Since this newfound popularity on social media, these local shops are booming like never before. But what's behind these sweet treats and their massive success? CBS News correspondent Michaela Marshall has the story. The impeachment process is underway for Student Senator Chief of Staff Adam Moon. KHH reporter Jessica Larson explains what will unfold in the coming months. Rock Chalk Invisible Hawk stages another protest today. KUJH reporter Jackson Kurtz is in the newsroom with the latest. Jackson? Thanks, Emma. Starting around 11 a.m., Rock Chalk Invisible Hawk started a protest moving through campus. The demonstrators started at Blake and Fraser Hall, walking into classrooms, asking for students to join the protests. The group moved to the School of Social Welfare, asking the dean to send an email calling for support for Invisible Hawk. Welcome back. Joining us today for our Senate sit-down is student body president, Jesse Pringle. Jesse, thank you for being with us today. No problem. I'm glad to be here. You know, it has been just an uh, eventful two weeks here on campus and all the events occurring across like the world. Right. Um, how are you doing? How are, how are you coping with everything going on? Have you ever imagined what a Broadway musical would look would sound like if it was turned into a mixtape? Like imagine Les Mis turned into a French rapping Beastie Boys album. Or Fan of the Opera turned into some mix up some lyrics with Jay-Z. That would be awesome. I wish we had that. Oh wait. We do! With the Hamilton mixtape, for the last 12 hours, Twitter and music streaming services everywhere have exploded with the release of the Hamilton mixtape. And just like that, the Cubs are back in the World Series. For many K students who are Cubs fans, the feeling is still surreal. That's weird. <laughs> I mean, it was just like speechless. I immediately called my dad. The Billy Goat Curse, Black Cats, and even Steve Bartman have all been blamed for the years of failure. It's, it's not a curse, more of unlucky because, like, I don't know, baseball is one of those sports that just one play can actually determine the whole outcome of a game. And that one play hasn't helped the Cubs since 1908 when they won the World Series. Back then, sliced bread wasn't even invented yet. And the Model T Ford wasn't even off the production line. The month of November. A time when families come together. The leaves fall and people grow their hair out. I think it's awesome when people grow beards, you know, I just the one thing is I got people a lot of times that'll come up and just start touching it, they want to grab it, it's like, just ask me. No Shave November, an entire month dedicated to not shaving your hair. November is coming up, like, okay, I'm going to do No Shave November, and then I'll shave it off, and by the end of November, it was long enough, I was like, I got to keep going. This time of year, you know, you're not really supposed to line up any of the beards or anything if you really are in it, but... A lot of the guys, they, they want them to look fashionable. Now this day and age, we actually sell a lot more beard oils, uh, beard balms, beard conditioners, you know, things like that. The Rat Pack is back. Visited Kansas City to relive the area. Welcome to Kansas City. Ah, thank, thank you very much. And this is the birthplace of jazz music. Birthplace of jazz music. Birthplace of jazz. All that jazz. Should we sing it together? That's right, I said we. And then they nursed it, they rehearsed it, and then get out the mood. That does it for us. Be sure to tune to the CBS Evening News tonight. We'll see you tomorrow on CBS This Morning. From the CBS News Broadcast Center here in New York, I'm Jackson Kurtz. Have a great day.